storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Goes unpunished, and you got your family together, so keep pushing forward. And don't be petty by posting a bunch of family pictures without that girl in it. Don't act like she didn't exist. And call her on her birthdays and holidays, you Andy shit. You all the girl got. Moving right along, Kanye West getting back to himself. I told y'all it, it was it was just some Kardashians he was around and all that energy and all that male sucking blood sucking energy that had him up out of his head and now he's getting back to himself. He's coming out with an album called Donda and allegedly this is going to be his best album yet. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I went back and looked and I think... Honestly, my favorite album from Kanye is when he is going through some kind of trauma or controversy in his life. My dark, my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy was awesome. My kind of shit. And 808 and Heartbreaks. And he had just uh, broke off like an 18th month engagement from Alex Fife for that black girl that he should have married. He has to still be married today. But anyway, he had just went through that. And gave us the best music. I hate to say it, but these artists give us their best when they're hurt and when they're in a bad place. Mary J. Blige, didn't nobody care when she got happy. When she was fine, 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 fine. Ooh, y'all didn't care. But when she was crying in the window with the rain coming down, we did. It's just the truth. And so... This album is apparently going to give us songs that you can play in church, that you can play in a club. It's not a whole lot of cursing. You're going to do some crying when you listen to it. When I look at the album cover, it kind of looks like souls that are like returning to the sun, children of the sun. It symbolizes something. Now, look, at the end of the day, I think that. Um, if you're expecting to get a lot of tea on a Kardashians and get a lot of tea about his divorce in the songs, I think you're actually going to get it. But he's genius enough to use metaphors, similes, etc. to kind of hide it. So you're really going to have to listen to get the tea that you're looking for. But believe me, he going to talk about it and he going to talk about everything. So I'm here for it. I believe this album's going to be bomb because he literally gives us his best when he's at his worst. And now he didn't got this shit out of his system. I still say he need a black woman in his life. Y'all ain't got to agree, but that's what I feel. Not no damn Irina Shake, who was with Cristiano Ronaldo and, 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 and Bradley Cooper before that. No, 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 no. You need a black girl from Chicago. You need a black. Kanye need a black girl from Chicago. Preferably named Keisha, Tanya, Taronda, something like that. You need something like that in your life. Because them, them Hollywood hoes and had you, had you screwed up, Kanye. They tried. You literally, Get Out was literally based off of you, Kanye. And you're going to go back in the fire. Anyway, moving right along from that. Do y'all agree? Do y'all agree? I'm just saying. Right, don't forget his first album. He wrote that when he was recovering from his accident. Exactly. When he going through, his mouth is wired like mine is wired. But not literally, but still. Whenever he's going through something, he gives us his best. He really, really does. He needs a therapist. He needs a black woman. He needs a black woman. Period. Keisha, Taronda, Salita, Sarisha, something like that. Uh, it's a storm show. It's a storm show.